we've got a pedal box having a bit of an issue with it I'll just show you what that issue is see if you can uh, spot the problem so this is the throttle pedal obviously this is where the uh, cable comes through can anyone see the issue there? it's even worse through that hole if the cable's going to pull through there this leg needs to be over here so it pulls like that because by the time the pedal's halfway it's no longer even pulling it down it's pulling it forwards so it's not it's barely pulling any cable past half halfway point plus you know it needs to pull the cable straight so I contacted them and uh, they sort of said yeah I can see what you're saying but I've had this for over a month now and the last four emails I've sent I've not had a reply to so if you've got an eye for straight lines you'll see that that throttle pedal is crooked it's lent in that way I take it back I don't think the pedal's bent the issue is just how sloppy that fit is on the pedal I'll just remake that bush so I can make a little bronze bush for that get a nice fit and then that will hold the pedal straight so that'll be the first little job next issue is that this bar that runs through the center of here isn't even round so I've just made a bush that's like a nice fit measure it that way 15.5 15.9 that way there's a big ridge in it so just machine the end of that so it's nice and round so the thread on this has been cut completely wonky I was looking at it thinking what the hell is wrong with that thread looks like the end of the shaft's bent but it's not it's just that the tap's been put on at such an angle and that's why it's cut flat on this side right so I've spent um, a whole day basically sorting this pedal box out so I've got some nice 16mm solid bar which I've um, put two grooves in on the lathe for circlips I didn't bother with a, a nut and a thread because I didn't really see what the point of it was um, you can't bolt this up tight anyway so I thought that was a better option so that's that bit sorted the throttle pedal so this is now the piece that will pull the cable, the cable will attach to here what I did was measure the distance like the pivot distance on both my other cars to see what that was and then basically just matched it the same um, so that I get both my other cars have quite a short pedal throw which is what I wanted so I've put bronze bushes in here which are a really nice fit on here Another issue I had was when I pushed the bush into this side it pushed this collar out see that aluminium collar there so I tried to weld the collar to the pedal just so that it would be permanently fixed and uh, basically melted through the collar so I had to remake that collar press it in, I bonded it in with, with some um, two part chemical metal type stuff and then there's a bigger washer on that side with that one pressed in on this side so there's no way that that can come out now that's the throttle pedal side of it done I've also remade this whole section of the pedal box so this is the area that the 
cable will drop down through. This is just an adjustable stop, or if I want to move the cable in and out for a bit more leverage, I can swap these over. I've replaced this back section, put a stop for the clutch pedal so that I'm not pushing the cylinder all the way to the bottom of the cylinder every time I press the clutch. And then I've made a support piece which will weld into the floor which has got captive nuts welded on the back. Lots of holes to try and keep it light. I'm, I'm trying to uh, work on making things lighter. I've had a few people say they think my car is going to be uh, really overweight. And um, I do have a bit of a habit of uh, overbuilding stuff. So I'm just trying to keep it as light as possible. So that that will weld into the floor. And then I'll have another brace which will come from the back of here, which will go to the bulkhead, just to make sure there's no way there's any flex in that at all. And then on the pedals, I've also put bronze uh, bushes in these, got rid of all the plastic, and everything is a really nice fit. There's no slop in anything. Should be a super smooth pedal box, so. All the pedals sit nice and straight now, so I'm ready to uh, weld that in now and then I can make the back piece. Right, so that's my little brace added to the back of the pedal box, which is obviously going to stop any flex uh, and the heavy braking. These little uh, tabs on the pedal box and, and along here, one on the cage foot there as well, and then this. Which is my little foot stand thing, which is cover up all the cylinders. Um, more of a more of a foot rest than a foot stand. Um, probably, probably could stand on it. So that's that bit done. I've shortened these by about 30 mil. Shorten this. Um, everything super smooth on those um, bronze bearings. So all the pedals in the right place. This is nice and close to the throttle pedal because my foot doesn't 
haven't got much movement in my right ankle so I can't pivot my foot across to heel and toe which is something I'm trying to uh, learn how to do so that should make that a bit easier and we get the seat rails welded in now and then get the seat in position to fit uh, seat rails can be a real tricky job to get it all sat in there perfectly to get all four mounting points exactly where you want them the easiest way is to just make a like a jig plate off of your rails once you've got them bolted on so I'll just take a measurement from these <coughs> these two bolt holes you want to go from your furthest one to your closest one so that you've obviously got your full adjustment measure that distance then obviously measure that distance and then just make a plate with that bolt pattern in it you can use a bit of wood or I use a bit of steel and then it just makes the whole thing much easier so these are my rails that I made previously and then this is my plate which I've just marked the holes out in and then I've used the plate as my jig to make the rest of this and then clamped it down to my welding table as well to keep everything square now I've got some brackets with some captive nuts welded on the sides got my um, mount for the center strap for the seat belt and um, then I can basically just put that whole thing mount that whole thing into the car and know it's exactly as it needs to be and then I can use this plate to get everything level and it's just an easier much easier way of doing it than trying to like mess around taking the seat in and out all the time and um, yeah I've done it both ways this is definitely the way to go so this now so that whole thing now just drops straight in it can be welded along the tunnel on these tabs and I've got these plates to go in some extra support on this to weld to so that's all ready to be welded in I can just set my level across here to make sure everything's exactly square and where it needs to be Now I've got my uh, seat belt eyes, which are going to sit either side of that. So that's now ready to all be welded in. So I'll do that. Right, so I've got my seat bolted in. It's uh, as far over towards the tunnel as I could get it. The base of the seat's not allowed to uh, be over the center of the um, tunnel. And obviously the, the further I have the mounts this way, the higher it's raising the seat up. So feels pretty good and the um, where the steering column comes through there should line up nicely with the center of the seat and that also lines up perfectly in between these two pedals so I've moved the brake pedal over to the right and the clutch pedal over to the left 
It's just so that my feet aren't hitting the um, steering column. But um, everything feels really good. Seat's comfortable. Position's good. It's just touching the cage here. I may be able to just get it over a little bit more just to get that to clear. Um, but yeah, what I was saying about having the brake close to this is my right foot's been screwed and pinned back together so I don't have, I've got about 50% normal movement in it. Particularly trying to like uh, roll my ankle across like that on this foot it just doesn't do it. That's, that's literally like as far as I can roll that foot. So my knee just moves instead. So to be able to um, hit the throttle whilst braking, it has to be really close. Uh, I've tried doing it in other cars and I just can't, I can't roll my ankle over to um, do it. So this should, this should uh, make it work for me. So that's that, I'm happy with all the positioning of that. I need to mount my gear stick and the column. So that will be the um, next job on the list. What's up guys, just wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you my new merchandise store, which is run by T Public. I've got a new design up here, as well as uh, my older designs and these can be printed onto various different things. So all you need to do is click on the design you like. And then you've got selection down here of the different types of uh, clothing or stickers, phone cases, posters, mugs, and they will ship this stuff anywhere in the world. Depending on where you are, uh, it will possibly be shipped from your destination. So if you're in the US, and you're making an order, it will likely be printed and shipped within the US. So you won't be waiting weeks for international postage and same applies if you're in the UK. So you just click on whatever it is you want, pick your color, size, add it to the cart. And then when you go to checkout, it will tell you where your uh, order is gonna be shipped from. So for me, it's saying, Good news, your order will ship from the UK. So for clothing, if you're in the UK, all the clothing generally is going to be shipped from the UK to you. But some of the other stuff, so if I wanted um, some wall art, that's going to be shipped from the USA. International uh, postage, 10 to 15 days. I've ordered some samples and they didn't take long to... Um, arrive and you can go through and um, customize stuff pick exactly what it is you want if you want a uh, premium t-shirt they are a bit more expensive um, recycled organic t-shirt there's all sorts of different uh, stuff on there so have a look if you do want to support the channel it's there uh, if not no worries but I do appreciate any support that I get from uh, selling merchandise. The link is in the description box of the video if you want to check it out. That's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.